This is Masha. She's seven years old, the youngest of five children. She was brought into the hospital four days ago as an emergency. She was semi-conscious with convulsions, neck stiffness and high fever. She's been lucky to survive. Masha has only just now tested HIV positive, but she should have been tested a long time ago. Masha's mother was not tested for HIV during pregnancy. Masha was breastfed for the first two years. She was also taken to the health centre on a regular basis for checkups when she was weighed. The results were recorded but were not put onto a growth chart. This is what the chart would have looked like if it had been filled out. Masha grew well for the first 10 months, but then there were periods when she started to lose weight and become sick. When she was almost two years old, Masha was admitted to hospital with malaria. She was admitted again with both malaria and pneumonia six months later. By now she was underweight. However, she did slowly recover. Again, when she was four, Masha became sick. She had multiple abscesses on her legs and she started to lose weight. She still has the scars from these abscesses today. At this point, her mother had never had an HIV test and didn't know her status, so Masha was not tested either. Two years ago, Masha's mother became very sick with weight loss and oral candidiasis. She tested HIV positive at a health centre. It was only now that she found out that Masha's father had tested HIV positive eight years ago, shortly before Masha was born. When Masha was five, her mother was started on ART. Since then, she's not had problems with side effects and she's had good adherence. However, Masha was not given an HIV test, even though she continued to be brought into the health centre over the coming year to have her height and weight checked. This is now a BMI chart. It shows Masha continued to grow up until about a month ago. Then she started to lose weight rapidly. Three days ago, now age seven, Masha was admitted to hospital. On admission, she was only semi-conscious and was having convulsions. She had a stiff neck and was acutely anemic. For several days beforehand, she'd been complaining of fever, cough and headaches. She tested positive for malaria. A lumbar puncture also suggested she had meningitis. On admission, this time, she was finally given an HIV test, which came back as positive. Her CD4 count was 773. That's good that she is Three days after admission, Masha is now on the ward. She's conscious and much better. She's been treated for both malaria and bacterial meningitis. The convulsions, headache, fever and neck stiffness are all resolved. But she still has swollen lymph glands on her neck and the nodes under her arms are also swollen. Is that ticklish? I can feel some lymph nodes in here as well. She still has a cough. There are some areas of dull concussion and some noisy breathing through the stethoscope. There are no signs of oral sores. There's a spleen tip right there. Her spleen is enlarged. You can actually kind of see them. The lymph nodes in her groin are also swollen. Indeed, they're big enough to see them. Her mother is asked if Masha has been having night sweats or fevers and she replies that she has for at least the last month. Masha's mother, on the other hand, does not have a cough or any other symptoms of TB. 
A chest X-ray is ordered for Masha. Because of the meningitis, Masha is judged to have had a WHO stage 3 condition. She started on ART. At this point, Masha was not put onto TB treatment. She was given antibiotics for a chest infection, but a follow-up appointment was made for two weeks' time. A fortnight later, and Masha looks quite a bit better. She's going back to school again. Her weight, however, is the same as at discharge. An HB test shows that she's no longer severely anemic, and she has reported no side effects to the ARVs. But her mother says she's continuing to have some night sweats, and she still has a cough. So another look was taken at her X-ray. Masha was started on TB treatment. Her mother is told that the rest of the family needs to be checked for TB as well. It's now three months later and Masha has come for a follow-up. She looks healthy and active. Her notes show that she's had no side effects to either ART or TB treatment. Her cough has improved and she's no longer having night sweats. And the anemia has also improved. Over the last three months, she's been growing well. She's grown by one centimetre and has put on three kilos giving her a healthy BMI. Three months on TB treatment, and since she's yeah, on five yeah, yeah. months, she's on uh, ART. A yeah. closer look at her fingernails shows a painless discoloration, a darker brown colour. Yeah, it's because of chronic infection. The skin specialist explains that this is a sign of chronic infection. In Masha's case, the TB could have been responsible. She also has a fine rash on her head, which is hard to see as it's under her hair. It's itchy. The rash is diagnosed as tinea captis and treatment is given. Another three months later, and Masha is back again for a follow-up. She says she feels well and her fingernails look better now. One month ago, she finished the TB treatment. Her health passport shows an adherence of 83%, calculated from pill counts over the last two months. A routine viral load test is taken. This shows undetectable levels of the virus. Masha's weight is stable at 20 kilos, but her height has been increasing quite fast. Her BMI has been going down. This trend continues over the next three months. Her adherence, based on the pill count, has now got much better. It's gone up to 98%. Masha is now almost eight years old. Health-wise, since starting ART nine months ago, she's doing very well. She's an inquisitive child and is starting to ask why she has to take the medicines. Disclosure hasn't been done yet. 
It's important that it's the mother who does this so as not to undermine trust. Her mother is advised that she should slowly start to explain to Masha about her status. It's four months later and more than a year since Masha started ART. Today, she's come in with a rash on her face and other parts of her body. It's itchy, especially at night, and she's been scratching it. The rash is judged not to be a drug reaction and is treated with an ointment. When her pills are counted, Masha's adherence for the last month is now 100%. This reflects in her growth. She's grown another two centimetres in the last four months and she's put on three kilos in weight. So now her growth chart shows her to have caught up to roughly where she should be for her age. If Masha carries on taking her medicines this well, there's no reason why she shouldn't continue to thrive.